everybody, Kids Under Construction again. Today, we're going to be talking about a heavenly crown. But before we get there, I have a few hats here in front of me and I have a duke on my head. We wear some of these hats to protect us from the sun. Sometimes you'll have one that can protect you from the rain. Others can protect you from the cold and others can just hide what's underneath. I love crowns. And I wanted to find out if you love crowns as well. I'm sure you do. You've seen books where kings and queens wear their beautiful crowns, all the diamonds, the glitz, and the glamour on them. Wouldn't you like to have that priceless possession all to yourself? Well, it's very, very possible. You too can have your own crown when you get to heaven, of course. But for this to happen, there are specific things that you need to do. And I'm going to encourage mom and dad, big brother, big sister, aunt, uncle or granny to help you in your journey of life as you strive to receive your crown of glory when you get to heaven. I'm going to read four verses for you. And I'd like for you to go over these verses at home with mom and dad again. Let the words sink in. Let the lessons meditate in your heart so that you can be able to find yourselves in a position where you will qualify for the ultimate price, which is your heavenly crown. Let's turn to Revelation chapter 2. Verse 10. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. It reads as follows Fear none of those things with which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation. 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. This is a promise that Jesus Christ is making to you. Don't listen to the devil when he says, steal this, lie about that, fake that, hide this from mommy and daddy. Don't listen to those naughty voices. Remember, Jesus is watching and he wants to give you a crown of glory. But he can only do that if you choose to do the right things. Let's go to our second verse. Revelation chapter 3 verse 11. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown. What is Jesus saying to us here? He says, hold thou fast that which thy have. So hold on to truth. Hold on to righteous living. Hold on to being kind to other children in the playground. Hold on to being an obedient boy or an obedient girl to your mom, your dad, or your teacher. Why? Because a reward awaits you in heaven, and that is your heavenly crown. Let's go to the next verse, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. And it reads as follows. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me on that day. Our apostle is telling us here 
that he knows that even though he's going through these trials and tribulations, a crown awaits him in heaven. He is going to receive that crown from Jesus Christ himself. Don't you also want that crown? Remember, for you to receive that crown, you need to keep in the path of righteousness. Our last but most certainly not least verse comes from the book of James. James chapter 2. James chapter 1 rather and it's verse 12. It reads as follows. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tired, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your understanding. Do all that is right and remember, he himself will reward you, not with these earthly crowns but with a beautiful crown when we get to heaven remember to subscribe to our channel on youtube until next time bye bye kids under construction mm -hmm.